Amanda and I'm a trainer at Mind Apples and I'm just wondering how's your mood today? How's it been over the past few weeks? I know mine's been up and down, some days have been easier than others and I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about who we let in on this. Who do we let see the real moods and emotions that we experience every day? And this led to a conversation about emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the ability to recognise control and express our emotions appropriately and also to recognize emotions in other people and react appropriately. It's not about being happy all the time but it's about being appropriate and in context. And some people even think emotional intelligence is more important than IQ when it comes to measuring success and happiness. One of the times that emotional intelligence is pretty important is at work. And there's a concept called emotional labour, which talks about how we regulate our emotions in the workplace to match the expectations of our colleagues and customers. So a good example of this could be a waitress, maybe having a bad day, maybe feeling angry or frustrated or even sad about something, but will greet her customers with a smile and a positive attitude and take their order. This is called surface acting. Surface acting is when you project an emotion different to the emotion you're feeling. And whilst this helps you get by, it, it can be quite tiring and it can also lead to stress and burnout. So what's the alternative? Well, the alternative is something called deep acting, where we try and change our emotion or shift our mood so that the emotion we project on the outside matches the emotion on the inside. And we can do this in two different ways. One way is by our thought process, an internal process, so we could think happy thoughts or try and reframe the situation we're in or think about the gratitude we have for the good things in our life to try and shift our mood. The other way is by our actions, so we can do things that make us feel better. This is where our five a day comes in handy. The things we do every day just to make ourselves feel better. It may be having a quick chat to somebody or it may be going outside into the fresh air or even just taking a few deep breaths. And we try and change the way we feel on the inside to match how we want to project it on the outside. So emotional intelligence is pretty useful.